Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports and welcome back to my shop office and today I'm going to do a short little devotional video once again and it's simply going to be titled, Read Your Bibles. Folks, I've seen so many people take what a minister or supposed to be minister or preacher of God say as the true word of God and quite oftentimes this day and time the Word of God has been watered down, it has been changed, it has been tickled, it has been tweaked to appeal to the masses this day and time. As you see, look out into the world this day and time, you see more and more things trending away from what the Bible teaches. And so oftentimes, so many of these uh, uh, ministers and pastors uh, will try to... Uh, teach a message that appeals to the masses so that they don't lose congregational members, so ultimately they don't lose money in so often in so many cases. But you got to read the Bible for yourself, guys. Uh, I can just give you example after example, but there's been prominent pastors, prominent um, celebrities that claim to be, you know, God-fearing people, asked a simple question, particularly about uh, homosexuality and whether homosexuality was a sin. And it'll just blow your mind how some people who claim to be uh, ministers of, of the gospel or, you know, devout Christians saying that homosexuality is not a sin, which in fact the Bible clearly defines as being an abomination or a sin unto God. I mean, look at Leviticus chapter 18, I believe it's verse 21, 22, and it clearly says that it is an abomination to God. But yet you've got church leaders appeasing to this new woke movement, saying that it's all right, that it is not a sin, that God loves them, and they're going to go to heaven even though if they're participating in this lifestyle. Now, I will agree, God loves the homosexual. God loves all sinners, but he does not love the sin. He wants each and every one to repent of their sins so that they can spend an eternity with him. So most importantly, don't take what you hear over the television or out of a pulpit or behind a podium as the exact gospel, the true word of God. You gotta read the Bibles for yourself. You gotta go in there and open up the Bible, read the scriptures, see it for yourself because it's not always gonna be taught purely and truly from the pulpit. So that's today's lesson, guys. Hope you're doing well. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you again soon.